Hey guys, today I'm gonna to share with you one of my favorite recipes for a light summer dinner. So you know how there are those times in the summer where you really want something filling, but you don't want something heavy? This is the perfect recipe for that. So a couple of weeks ago, I experimented with this recipe. I loved it so much, I posted the picture to Instagram, which by the way, that is my most favorite new pastime. So if you guys are on Instagram and you wanna follow me, I'm at Entertaining with Beth. And there you will find lots of test recipes, pictures of my garden, just fun things that I love to take pictures of. And I also love it when you guys share the recipes. When you make something and you send me the photo, love that. So hopefully I'll see you on there too. The first thing you wanna do is roast your beet. Now, if you're making that face and you're not sure if you like beets, you probably have never had a roasted beet. A roasted beet is so much better than any canned beet or boiled beet because it just brings out all the flavor and the sugars of that vegetable. So the favorite way that I like to roast a beet is to just wrap it in some aluminum foil, pop it in a very hot oven, and roast it for about an hour. You're looking for it to become tender, almost like a potato. Once your beet is done, you're gonna unwrap it from the foil, and then rinse off the skin. That's the nice thing about a beet. It actually, the skin will just fall right off right after it's roasted. You're then gonna allow your beets to cool and then slice them in half and then slice them in quarters. Now, because the beets do take about an hour to roast, this is something you can either do early in the day or the day before you plan to make the recipe. Now we can prepare our vinaigrette. So in a small bowl, you're gonna take some Dijon mustard and a little bit of balsamic vinegar. I like the balsamic vinegar because it has a wonderful sweetness to it, which is gonna combine really well with our oranges and our scallops, which are also a very nice sweet seafood. Whisk that all together until combined, and then slowly add your olive oil, whisking all the while until you create a nice emulsion. You'll see, your dressing will start to kind of thicken up and become creamy. You're then gonna season with a little salt and pepper, and then add some freshly minced chives. Your dressing is done and you can set that aside. Then for the salad, I really love to use a bib lettuce. It's that beautiful butter lettuce that you see. Sometimes it comes in the plastic in the store still with the root intact. That's the perfect kind of lettuce for something like this because it's light, it's flavorful, and it also has a wonderful little crunch to it. Toss your salad with your vinaigrette just until everything is well coated. And then I like to take an orange and add a little orange zest to the mixture. You can then take the orange, cut off either side, stable it on a cutting board, and then go around with your chef knife and just cut off the skin. You wanna get the peel and that sort of white part because that's sort of the bitter part of the orange and that will then allow you to create orange segments. You're then gonna take your knife and you're gonna go in between each membrane, releasing the segment. This can be a bit of a messy job, so it doesn't have to be perfect. You're just looking for some nice orange chunks that you can throw into the salad. And then we're ready to cook our scallops. You want to make sure that they're nice and dry. That is going to help you get the best sear on that scallop. So go ahead with a paper towel and just pat them dry. Then you're going to season both sides with a little salt and pepper, and then heat a large skillet. I really like a non-stick skillet for this. I find that it gives you a better sear on the scallop and the scallops don't stick as much. You're going to heat your oil in a pan, place the scallops, and then don't touch them. If you want to get a nice sear, you have to just let them do their thing. So usually about two or three minutes will get you a nice golden sear. Then about two to three minutes later, you're going to flip them and then allow them to cook for about another minute more. You don't want to overdo it. Scallops are not that great when they're overcooked. You want to just really make sure that they're nice and kind of firm to the touch, but not too firm. You're then going to transfer them to a plate and then it's time to put our salad together. So what I like to do is once my bib lettuce has been all tossed with my vinaigrette, I'll take a nice pile of lettuce, put it in the center of the plate, arrange my scallops all the way around, and then interchangeably put my beets. Then I'm going to top with the orange segments and some additional chopped chives. And there you have it. Your summer salad is ready. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think. And I also hope to see you on Instagram. I'll see you back here next week for another delicious recipe.